Hey y'all, welcome back to another live with me. Today we're making potato soup and I'm using ingredients that I got from the farmer's market. So some potatoes from the farmer's market as well as some broccoli crowns from the farmer's market. I went this past weekend. So we got potato soup tonight and I'll give it a couple seconds for people to join before we start cooking. I'm only rocking with this Dollar Tree cutting board today, LOL, because I gave my cutting board away like when I went to the 4th of July party, like I gave my favorite cutting board away. What's up y'all? I missed y'all too, but guess what? I graduated college, so I'm back. I'm back and I have plenty of free time. I literally was like looking around today. I'm like, oh, I've already seen Harvey. Already went to go take care of him this morning. Already went to Dollar Tree, ran errands, went to the post office, you know, did what husband asked me to do. And then I came home and I was like, oh, I have so much free time for going live and cooking dinner and OMG. I don't have to do homework or like get on the computer. Like it feels so weird. I love you guys. Shout out to Kaylee. Hi Ava. Shout out to Ava. So we're making potato soup. This is a super easy dinner that I like to make. Um, it doesn't require a lot of ingredients. Basically the bulk of it is you need potatoes, obviously. But for this recipe today, I'm gonna be adding some broccoli crowns that I got from the farmer's market. I'm gonna be adding some lemon. Shout out to Grace. And a second shout out to Ava. I love you too. And then we're gonna be adding some green onions to this. I have some that are um, starting to go bad. So I'm gonna be salvaging the bottoms, obviously, because y'all told me that these will grow back just like my celery. So I'm gonna keep the bottoms, but pretty simple for this recipe. So I'm just gonna start cutting up the potatoes now. Move the broccoli out of the way. We have clean countertops right now. The cleaners came. So you know it's spotless. But yeah, I'm rocking with this little cutting board, but you know what I'm gonna do? See how it's slidey? I'm gonna do y'all's little trick. I'm gonna grab a paper towel. And I'm gonna go wet this, and I'm gonna put it underneath the cutting board, and I'm gonna see if it actually works to keep it from sliding. Thank you guys so much for the birthday shout outs to husband. So I have my wet paper towel. And so I'm gonna put this underneath the cutting board. We're gonna see something, see if this works. I really hope it does, because the countertops are ridiculously slidey. Okay. Okay, first potato. Thank you guys for the birthday shout outs. Y'all are so sweet. Bye, Ava. Love you. All right, so let's cut up this potato. We're going to basically core. I am left-handed, so I always cut things weird, look weird when I do things. That's too much. Y'all, this hack really does work though. Like, you see how I'm cutting like so horribly? Like, I'm not a chef. We, we've covered this on like every cooking video that I do. The cutting boy's sliding around while I chop things, and everyone's like, oh, she's gonna cut her hand. So, yeah, thank you guys for this hack. It's actually pretty good. Shout out to Layla. What's up, Emma? Oh, hi, Peachy Chai. What's up? Some potatoes. I'm gonna put these in a, let's see, in the pot right here. Actually, what I'm planning on doing, okay, I'm gonna get a bowl because I'm planning on kind of like sauteing everything and then putting it into the pot to boil. Grab my big bowl. Oh, 
Okay. So I have my flower bowl. Uh, <laughs> flower. My heart bowl. Oh my gosh. ADHD. All right. We're going to put our ingredients in here. And then I'll just have this aside. It's super big. Go on to the next potato. <laughs> Goblin gag. That one was for you, Ramen. Just for you. <clears throat> Y'all, should I go to Home Goods soon? Because I feel like it's been a minute since I've gone and done some like Ray Dunn slander. <laughs> I was watching this video yesterday, guys, about like how to make sweet tea the right way. And I was like really invested in this video super super following the recipe i was like okay okay he was like i'm from mississippi i'm from the deep deep south you know da, da, da. i'm looking in the background of his video and all i see is ray dunn in the kitchen and i'm just like oh. <laughs> no okay so this potato is cut shout out to flower edits Yes, y'all, the music by Peachy Chai. Also, um, the music is actually YouTube music, believe it or not. Shocking, right? It's vibes. So we're going to, oh wait, why am I moving this? I'm going to put these in the bowl. I keep trying to put these in the pot, but I'm not doing that yet. Now we're gonna cut the one little red potato that I got from the farmer's market. I only got three potatoes, but it's just me and my husband, so. Hi, very happy Mondays. Big shout out to very happy Mondays. Oh, they got the green Lazy Susan for Prime Day, yes. I love that in my bathroom, honestly, because before, at one point, y'all, like I was one of those people where like I had all this stuff underneath the sink. It was a disaster. This was before I like started TikTok. Like it was bad. And then that's when like TikTok is the reason that I got on to like wanting to be organized and like cute in a cute way, you know? And I feel like creators like Kaylee May really paved the way for me to be like okay and then that's when i started working for like a label company and i was like deep into like restock and like organization and that's when it just like took off for me oh thank you for saying my kitchen is goals you know what's funny here dollar tree this target dollar spot this was like i don't know five dollars at target these are dry roses from Trader Joe's. I dried them to use as decor. And then is from Target. It's $5. And this cutting board is from Dollar Tree. So we're bougie on a budget right now. Shout out to Sarah. Okay, so for this glee, um, I love how like I'm gonna spin on cut them like that. Base, most of them will just be able to be like peeled off. Let me put the knife down. Cause I don't like, I only like the crowns. I'm not, I don't like the base. I'm one of those people. Like some people, I think they sell like bags of like this at the store where it's just this. <clears throat> I love you too, flower edits. Bye. Oh, Logan got the delivery driver station set up. Oh, I love it. It's such a like cute thing to do to give back to them. And I know y'all like trying to have me get a video of like when the delivery drivers 
sometimes I'll be sitting at my office and like I'll see them, but like I feel weird pulling out my phone, but I need to get them on camera, but it's so spontaneous when they come, you know? I don't want to be like sitting with my camera, you know, with every delivery driver just in case they take something. <laughs> it's so weird and creepy. Like what if they turn around? Like I'm right there. Like my office is like right there. Like I'm facing them. So like if they saw me, like <laughs> what do I do? Thank you guys so much. Okay, I'm gonna cut this at the base. This I'm actually gonna keep now. I'm doing my garden this week, y'all. So not well, not this week, but next week. Um so I'm keeping compost now. I'm setting aside a bowl of compost that I can put in the garden. So these two, two broccoli, I'm gonna keep. I don't want that part. <laughs> Oh, a security camera? Yeah, that would be good. The only thing is that my husband does not um, want to get a ring. So I'm gonna put this into the bowl. So it'd have to be like a different one, I guess. At this little bit. And now, I'm just gonna peel this. Now we have just the good part, so that's fine. So it's away. And right, delivery drivers do so much. They really do. What? Okay, so for these, the end is kind of, the ends are kind of done. So stop I'll stop like there and then I'm gonna put these aside because I need to look on Pinterest to see what I need to do to make them grow <laughs> Pinterest is my go-to like I literally look everything up on Pinterest I'm like how do I do this how do I grow celery or whatever like onions I'm sure there's gonna be like a Pinterest video or something hey y'all yep five below is coming tonight tonight is buy this not bad dollar tree with a very special um giveaway so those that you are the first to hear about it but i'm giveaway where if you watch the duration of the video like at the end of the video i say i'm doing a five item giveaway per channel so youtube's five items facebook instagram and all and it's gonna be in the kids section so it's gonna be for parents who want like well parents or like if you have like you know a brother or sister it doesn't really matter but it's kids it's a kid giveaway because my dollar tree has so many cute toys right now and i don't have kids i want to buy some of that and so i'm doing a giveaway a big one Oh, sorry guys, I'm lagging. Okay, so now the last thing is slicing this lemon. Hi from Wisconsin. This is gonna be juiced to the soup. So we only need to cut it in half. Okay, now we're done over here so we're gonna move over here to our pan because I am going to saute um the ingredients first and then put them into the pot because I don't know I'm feeling like doing that so first I'm gonna light the stove put it on like 
medium, Sprouts olive oil, And we're gonna let that heat up real quick and I'm gonna grab a water bottle because I'm thirsty. I feel like sauteing the potatoes just a little bit is gonna make it like taste a little bit better, I feel like. I feel like that'll like add to it, but yes, I love Taylor Swift. And Yes, I'm living for all of the Taylor's versions that are coming out. Absolutely living. If you guys hear me drinking, I'm drinking water. Okay. Should be hot enough now. Got this whole thing I'm just gonna dump it now I'm going to season everything right here for the base of the soup we're using chicken broth and some water and then we're gonna put in some heavy cream super simple like I said potato soup is so easy so first we're gonna do some garlic powder. Okay, Rebecca tried Olipop. What flavor did you try? Thank you for loving my nails. And yes, I am a Swifty, period. Oh, y'all, no it did not. Nope, I'm cleaning that immediately. Not when the cleaners just came. Not on my watch. I'm trying to cook like as clean as possible. Like I don't want anything to get dirty because the cleaners just came. <laughs> yes, I do like jazz music. I think it's really relaxing. So I'm gonna put a bunch of garlic powder in here. A lot. When I say a lot, I mean a lot. Take a wooden spoon and mix that. Looking a little dry. So we're gonna add some more olive oil. Shout out to Preppy Vibes. Oh, yes, potato soup for the win. Soup during summer for the win. I am making it a thing, I don't care. And you know what's funny? It's 110 where I am. Yup, you heard that right, 110 degrees. And I, here I am making soup. I'm like, we're making, Tyler came out like, what's for dinner, babe, what's the plan? I'm like, I'm about to make potato soup. He's like, oh, that sounds good. <laughs> That's why I married that man. All right, so that looks better. It smells really good. Now we're gonna add some, of course, salt and pepper. Starting with the pepper. Oh my goodness. Breeze is allergic to potatoes. That is awful. All potatoes, like white, uh, yellow potatoes and sweet potatoes. That's very interesting. I've never heard of that. Um, so first we're gonna do some black pepper. This is the fancy grinder from Sprout. Um, and cause I'm left-handed, I don't, like it's not aesthetic when I do it cause I'm like covering like this. So I try to do it like this, but then I fail cause I'm left-handed. I'm like, oh no, I gotta go back to my, my OG way. We're gonna do a lot of pepper. This thing's been getting jammed lately. Okay. Now for the salt, this is Mediterranean sea salt from Sprouts. We're gonna do a little bit of this because the majority of our flavor, I like that salty flavor is gonna come from the lemon that we're putting in. So just a little bit of this. 
And, oh, Bree says they can't eat sweet potatoes. That is amazing. Because I was about to say, like, I would be upset if I couldn't have sweet potatoes. So someone also asked, what am I going to cook next? I'll try and get this open. So I'm actually going to be making scotcheroos. I have all the ingredients. And they're like a Midwestern dessert. So I'm going to go live when I do that. And that's probably going to be... I don't know, within the next couple of days. Scotcheroos are basically like peanut butter, um, Rice Krispie treats that you make at home with chocolate on top. So my husband really wants those and it's his birthday week. So the birthday boy is getting some Scotcheroos. yeah I feel like this was a good idea to do before I put it in to be soup because I feel like this really lets the potatoes get evenly seasoned like with the broccoli now I'm going to turn the heat up for the last portion of this before we put it into the pot yes flower edits what's up so here's the pot we're going to be using this is from Walmart and happy birthday to Biblio's dad. Happy birthday. My dad's birthday was also this month. My dad's birthday was the beginning of this month. So I have my dad as a cancer, the crab as well. So we're gonna be using this um, Dutch oven from Walmart. This is by Drew Barrymore. A lot of people ask me like about this. That's why I'm telling you guys exactly what it is. It's by Drew Barrymore. This is called Corn Cornwall Blue. Like Cornwall or Cornflower Blue. Like that's what she calls that, this color. So we are going to have the lid on while this cooks. But for putting all ingredients in, we're just going to dump. Thank you, I will. Husband, YouTube says happy birthday. <laughs> He's playing video games, so I doubt that he heard me because he knows that I'm on live, so he probably has the volume like all the way up. Um, so now over here, this is getting sizzly right now. <laughs> We're getting sizzly. Oh yeah, look at that. That's what I wanted, like the brown spots. Turn the heat up for the last portion of it. Kind of burn the potatoes a little bit. Burn the broccoli a little bit. Burn it up. Yes, scotcheroos. It's going to be so fun. I can't wait to make them. I bought all the ingredients for it. I'm going to be making them from scratch. It's interesting. And I'm going to be using... Let me do this. We're getting sizzly. I'm going to be using that mixer from Drew Barrymore. It's at Walmart. It's actually $99. So it's like a hundred bucks, which is shocking considering the KitchenAid is like 400. So we're going to be using that. I have a KitchenAid, but I prefer that to be out because I feel like that's cuter than the KitchenAid. I don't know. <laughs> we're getting sizzly. That was the only word for it. So for the pot, I am going to add, I don't know, probably like a tablespoon of butter. We're going to turn it on a bit high. What games does my husband play besides driving games? Um, let's see. I've seen him playing like this game called, um, oh, a potato just flew vermintide and then like I don't even know like he plays like all these like I think he plays like Call of Duty and like driving games and weird farming games like weird like engineering like you're making a factory like so, just some weird games you know him and all his friends are playing it though so we got some butter in here. 
just to be on the safe side so we don't burn anything, I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil because I don't wanna burn this pot. And now I'm gonna transfer the ingredients from here into the pot. There we go, yep. No mess. Now in this pot, and Breeze says, I think military guys play the same kind of games. Yes, absolutely. Shout out to It's Lay, they're a new subscriber. And I know, right, the sizzling potatoes will be good for breakfast. But yeah, military guys all play the same video games, I swear. It's like him and all his friends play it. And they're sitting there like screaming and yelling <laughs> like into, I mean, Saturday, Friday, Saturday night. It's like into like all hours of the night, you're, like screaming and yelling, playing the game. It's crazy. I'm like, y'all are OD. I'm going to bed. <laughs> but it's fun to see him having fun, you know? I'm here for it. Instead of like, oh, can you keep it down? I'm like, I'm here for it. Do you? Live your best life. So we're going to put some chicken broth in here. I don't want to use this whole container because I want like the next soup I want to make is taco soup and they didn't have any beef broth at the store. Like literally all they had was this. So I just want to use like half. equates to probably about a couple cups but even if I uh, okay yeah I'm gonna stop there I'm gonna do the rest water because when you use chicken broth you can sit here and water it down honestly especially if you're doing like a bunch of other ingredients it's just gonna like soak it up So I don't like using the sink water, so I'm gonna use it from the Brita pitcher. Um, my husband is active duty, so he's not a veteran, but I am a veteran. So I'm gonna fill this up with some water. Going. Yep. It's gonna be boiling for a couple hours, so we can go ahead and fill it up. If I had baby carrots, I would also throw in baby carrots. Thank you so much, Logan. Um, what do I do for a living besides YouTube? Uh, nothing. <laughs> okay. So we're going to mix this up. Oh, not the splash. See, that's what scares me about having a gas uh, rain, like a gas stove. Like before we had electric, now we have gas. I know I'm playing a dangerous game. Um, when stuff spills or splatters, like you risk it like popping off, catching fire. Okay. Now we're going to add some lemon. So I'm gonna grab my juicer. We're gonna juice an entire lemon into here. And then we're gonna top it off with some heavy cream, stir it up, and then put the lid on. And it's going to boil slash simmer for, so right now I'm gonna turn the heat up so it can start boiling, but it's gonna simmer until, so right now it's 440 for about two or three hours. Just let it simmer, let it cook. Thank you guys so much. And yes, um, social media is totally my full-time job. Yeah, I was just joking when I was like, netting. Um, social media is my job. And I'm so happy. And also, but guys, I'm trying to publish a bird guide. So now that I'm done with college, um, I can finally do that. So I'm really going to be focusing on the birds in my area and compiling information, trying to do that. Because I really want to publish a book. And I want it to be like 
a scientific guide. And I love birds, so. But yes, social media is absolutely um, a full-time job for me where it pays for Harvey, it pays for, you know, anything I want to do, like Harvey's board, Harvey's food, you know, like all that pays for it. So it pays the bills. juicer I was trying to see I was like where is it so we have this I love this metal juicer thank you so much thank you thank you yeah so I'm trying to get a camera and I'm trying to seriously level up like the quality of my long form YouTube videos and I have some exciting news for you guys that are on live I'll tell you guys since I share secrets on here um I'm going to LA on Monday and it's gonna be another LA vlog, but it's just gonna be me going. I'm going to another event. So I'm so excited. I'm going to a YouTube event in LA and I'm flying in on Monday and I'm so excited. I'm gonna vlog the whole thing as always. We're doing spirit first class. Y'all already know. <laughs> So we're juicing this whole lemon into here because this is really gonna give it that flavor that the salt, you know, we didn't add a lot of salt, so we're adding a lot of lemon juice. And that's what's gonna give it that flavor as it cooks. And this thing will catch any seeds if there are seeds. So now we're gonna mix it around. It doesn't look like much like this because this is not the, the color that we want our soup to be. So I'm gonna turn the heat up on high because I really want this to start boiling before I add the heavy cream and then put it on low. So I'll answer some questions. Yep, <laughs> spirit first class, y'all already know. <laughs> All peachy chai is gonna be at LA on Tuesday, okay. Yeah, so I'm mad excited. Like, I'm so excited, y'all. I'm going, I'm staying at the same hotel, which is so funny. Like, same hotel, same airport. I'm flying Spirit First Class. Like, so I'm going to Porto's Bakery. You guys have to let me know what else I should do because the way it works is I'm doing the same thing as last time. I'm flying in, then I'm going to have a couple hours before check-in. So last time I went to Porto's Bakery because y'all told me to. This time I'm like, okay, I do want to go to Porto's Bakery, but like, is there anywhere else I should go? I'm going to be in like the Burbank, like Hollywood Burbank Airport area. Okay. Donut Man, okay, YT Cafe. Well, hold up, hold up, YT Cafe, because I did not get to go last time. Peachy Chai, where is that? If you don't mind sharing. Like, where is that? Because last time I was in Anaheim, so this time I'm not gonna be anywhere near Anaheim. I'm gonna be more in like the uh, Hollywood, West Hollywood area, rather than, um, I'm trying, I don't really know the area, guys, so I'm trying to figure it out. Like, LA, if LA is here, you know, like Hollywood, West Hollywood, West Hollywood's like there, right? And then LAX is like here, I think. That's how it is. I know, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. Mama, if you, hold on, if you're actually coming, DM me on Instagram. I'll tell you where it is. I gate, I'm gatekeeping it to the public, but I will. I will tell you. Wait, fresh peach stuffed donut? Hold on, I'm reading the chat. Shout out to Gamer Frog. Okay, so it's in Garden Grove. 
We took this trip to Garden Grove. Smell like the dog inside the van. Sublime reference, I hope you. You all, a girl. Y'all are like, don't tell people where you're gonna stay. Well, I didn't even tell people where I was staying before, so how would you know where I'm staying this time? Also, come through. Just kidding. <laughs> No, but like I didn't like disclose where I was staying before. I'm so it's like still a secret now. Also, you guys are talking about um, the trip that was this most previous. I'm talking about the trip before that. Okay, we're getting this last bit of juice. It's starting to boil. Okay, so why tea cafe, jasmine tea, mm. Okay. Oh my gosh, Logan, you're so funny. <laughs> yeah, I love tea, so I'm definitely like, like I screenshotted that peachy chai because like I seriously want to go to YT Cafe. And I'm trying to think where Garden Grove is in, con in proximity to, uh, the Hollywood Burbank area. Um, I know y'all, but see the thing. Okay, Santa Barbara. Yes, I do want to go. But also, um, we're starting to boil. And the thing about the pedicure that I get, y'all, it's like the. I found that place just by like. I guess like googling like. Like fruit pedicure, like. Uh, spa pedicure like with like I wanted a pedicure that was like deluxe so they I don't know I just stumbled across this place and they came to the menu and I saw the menu and they were like you should do the $60 orange cucumber and from there I was hooked I was like oh my gosh I can't wait for fall too oh y'all the corn that's growing out back like, you not you guys know how I've been, like, posting about the corn out back. Well, because I scatter bird seeds, so, like, corn started to grow. Well, it's not, like, corn that you would eat, right? It's broom corn. So, it's called uh, sorghum. That's what it's called. And it's going to be, y'all were saying it's going to be, like, a fall decoration, da da da, da. That's totally what it's going to be. So, I'm really excited for that. I'm going to have some literally homegrown fall decorations out front on the porch like i'm here for it okay so this is boiling so at this point we're gonna lower the heat to like medium medium low does santa barbara have a beach i want to go to the beach so wherever the beach is in california y'all let me know other than huntington beach because i've already been there No, I don't have squirrels here. That's the beauty of where I am. I have no squirrels. Whereas before I had squirrels as an issue. Oh, thank you, Biscuit. Thank you so much. Okay, so I'm shaking up this heavy cream. We're gonna add a little bit of this. Then at the end, you know, before we eat the soup, I'm gonna take the lid off, you know, after a couple hours, I'll add some more, but for now I'm gonna add some. And this is what's gonna give it color, basically. That's what gives it the creamy, beautiful color. Is adding heavy cream, or you can add some milk, I guess flour maybe. But I'm just gonna add a little bit for now. The majority is gonna be added at the end, so back up and now I'm gonna put the lid on turn the heat down to like low and we're gonna let this cook until it's dinner time and yeah so this was a 40 minute live and I was talking and stuff so it's not really that hard to make this meal to prep it um this was potato soup, by the way, Biscuit. 
And then what would, I'm gonna answer some questions now, real quick before I get off. What would be a fast food place that you would choose to be banned forever? Um, does Golden Corral count? <laughs> That or McDonald's, no, I don't wanna say McDonald's. I don't wanna say McDonald's, but it's like, I lived somewhere for four years, for over four years. Not once was the ice cream machine working. Not once was it on. Not once was it working. I'm like, look, it's been four years. When is it gonna be on? <laughs> so yeah. If y'all have any more questions, ask them now. I'm gonna do a quick Q and A and then I'm gonna hop off. All right, y'all. I don't see any questions, so I'm gonna hop off. I love y'all. Thank you for tuning in. And I will be back live soon to be making Scotcheroos. How's Harvey? He is doing good. He's thriving. I went to see him this morning to put fly cream on him and give him a bath and walk around with him. And he's doing good. He's definitely thriving. I need to get him, um, like... A different I need to get him a hole punch or someone at the barn so that I could use theirs for the bare back pad all right goblin gag one last time <laughs> um, and then yeah so I'm gonna post buy this not that so y'all get ready for that saddle up and remember I'm doing a special giveaway on this buy this not that tonight so if you have kids or if you have kids in your life and you want to be a part of that giveaway all you have to do is comment a peach I'm doing um, one giveaway per like social media channel that I have. So YouTube is gonna be a five item giveaway for one person, so. And what's my favorite meal to cook? Breakfast, definitely um, pancakes or waffles with eggs. Like I love making breakfast, it's my favorite. I like making breakfast more than dinner, but yeah. I love y'all. I'm going to get off now. Bye. Sarah, I'm sorry you just joined. I'm getting off. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Everybody have a good night. Stay safe. Sweet dreams. Shout out to Very Happy Mondays. They're the best subscriber ever. Good night, y'all. Bye.